Hi everyone. Uh, my name is Katrina McMurray, otherwise known as Seren Blackthorn, Sarah Blackthorn, or Sideseat Gamer, Sideseat Plus. Um, I am Polly. I am bisexual. Not pan, bi. I'm very specific on these things. Um, I am pagan. I call myself a witch. I am. I am a white girl. Although my blood is very mixed heritage, um, I still am a very white girl. And I accept this about myself and I acknowledge the privileges that affords me, even though I come from an impoverished household, an impoverished family, an impoverished background. Um, many people will tell you that if you're a white woman, you've never had to walk into a store and had people automatically assume that you were going to steal it. Well. I grew up in a white, very white town of white farmers, and I was from the wrong side of the tracks and one of the poor kids. So yes, when I walked into stores, security followed me around and they thought I was, you know, I was the poor white trash that was going to steal from them. That is a fact. Um, does that make my privilege less? No, it doesn't. Does that make me understand what it's like to have colored skin? No, it doesn't. Um, my mixed heritage. I have indigenous blood. Um, several of my family members are actually African American and much darker skinned than I am. Um, we have a little bit of Asian in us. We, we are at Heinz 57. Um, we are a mixture of everything there is. Um, I stand uh, with people of color. I create on YouTube and Facebook and Twitch Go ahead. and just beginning a TikTok adventure. I stand with the LGBTQ community. I stand with people of color. I stand with pagans around the world. Um, heck, I've even been known to stand aside some Christians in the great debates of religion and politics. Um, politically, I am just as confused um, as I think the rest of our country. I have a lot of mixed beliefs there too. Why am I making a video? So I generally do like a podcast talk discussion, live stream, whatever you want to call it every Sunday. And I have missed the last two Sundays. Um, given the state of the world, one, I was not emotionally ready, mentally ready to speak. To I felt like my normal topics that are generally about spirituality and my own pagan witchy practices um, were not something I could speak on at the time. It wasn't appropriate. So I've been quiet for two weeks and I don't feel like I can do that now. Um, I've been trying to figure out how to do this video. Um, let me start with, I hate videos. I hate the editing. I hate recording and then going through and going, what's good and what's not. I, I hate it. That's why I live stream. I am a streamer, not a video, not a YouTuber. I stream and then I go, oops, I messed up. I'll have to say it still. I don't, I prefer the organic live discussion. I like to read what my viewers are saying and respond in real time. Um, but I'm going to spread this message across many platforms and I wanted to be able to say as much as possible without distraction, without conversation. Um, a lot of my friends are posting on Facebook, the Black Lives Matter movement and doing the, if you have to say things like, but all lives matter, um, then you're racist. And I don't know that I go that far. Um, I will say that five, six years ago, I would have said, but all lives matter. Um, what's changed? Um, I'm paying attention to the state of the world. Um, I, I'm not a news person. I don't read the news. I don't watch the news. It depresses me and it causes horrible downward spirals. Um, so I generally read and watch fluff. Um, I mean, I keep track of what's happening in the world. 
because you're an idiot if you don't. But I don't get involved and I don't speak out and I don't say anything. Um, so that brings me to why I'm doing this. Um, you're not going to find me in a protest. You're not going to find me in a rally. They, especially now, they lead to looting and rioting. And I agree, our system needs to change. We need to start from the bottom up. We need to elect new officials for every single position in our government. We need to rise up and take back our government. Um, I have children and I'm old and I am broken and you're not going to find me on the front lines. Does that mean I'm willing to sit by and watch the world pass me by? No, it doesn't. Um, I also believe that peaceful protests and marches and passive, maybe not so passive, um, resistance is needed. It's a fact. Um, however, there's a large, giant difference between resistance and antagonistic behavior. Um, do I agree with the riots? That depends. Um, do you go to the protest with the idea of, ha ha, I'm going to hurt someone? then no, I don't. That's not the point. If you're going to the protest with the idea that you're going to fight, then you're going for the wrong reason. If you're going to the protest with the idea that someone's going to fight you because you're protesting and you're willing to defend yourself, okay. But I've read and shared on my Facebook you can go there, Sarah dot Sarah K dot Blackthorn. Um, a, a wonderful speech given by a wonderful man about you don't burn down your own home to prove a point to your neighbors. You don't. You don't destroy your own community. Um, trashing the local targets, trashing your local phone stores and stealing from them doesn't prove that the government needs to change. Um, going into a peaceful protest with weapons doesn't prove that you're there to be peacefully. Most protests, most things, gatherings, rallies, they're organized. They are set for scheduled times. Go there. Do the scheduled times. When a curfew is hit and the curfew is stated by the police, know why the curfew's there. If every time you go to a protest, if every time a protest is set up, things turn bad at about nine o'clock, yeah, you're going to set a pro protest, you're going to set a curfew for eight so that people have time to get home before the bad shit starts. Forgive the language. If you're going to start going, but the police were with us and they were going to stand with us and they were totally okay with the protest until eight o'clock and then they turned tear gas on us. Well, yes, once they go, okay, curfews hit. You guys have to go home now and you go. No, it's not going to happen. Yes, they're going to use non-lethal force to get you out of there. If that force turns legal or lethal, that's when it becomes criminal. And I agree with you. That needs to be protested. It needs to be stopped. But sometimes police are just doing their job. You have to remember that these are men and women who dedicate their lives to public safety. And yes, there are people out there who become cops just so they have the power because they want to hold a gun and they want to intimidate people. That is a fact. I have met them. I have seen them. I know them. I have seen it happen. But I also know that there are men and women in law enforcement who just want to help. They became law enforcement so that they could better their communities. I have seen these people reach out to the children of color that I take care of. I have seen them talk to my children about, and I do mean the children of color I take care of, not and my children who are overly white children who have so much privilege, it's not even funny. 
Ugh. And I do. I raise children who have an entitlement that is ridiculous that I go, how do you not see the world around you? And why are you this entitled? What did I do wrong? Um, but I also take care of children who are of Hispanic origin, who are of colored origin, who have seen cops who go, how do we help you out of the situation you're in? Let me show you the resources in your community that will help you where you're at. So yes, police need to reform their policies. They need to reform their training. They need to know that certain things need to be reported, even if it's unpopular, because I have unpopular opinions and I say them every day, every day. And I have, I am known for the person who's going to sit there and go, okay, cool. These people are victims, but did they do X, Y, and Z to put them in that situation? And that's an unpopular opinion. And people go, you victim blame. And I'm not. I'm going, do you know the world around you well enough to know that you're putting yourself in these situations? If you are in a riot and the police go, I need you to be on your knees with your hands above your head, or I need to see your hands, and you go, I have a right to not, they consider themselves in danger. If I look at you and go, I feel afraid for my life, and I need you to show me your hands, and you go with your hands in your pockets, I don't have to show you shit. I'm going to assume that you have a, vi a weapon, and I'm going to be violent against you. That has nothing to do with whether or not I'm law enforcement. So all that being said, if you feel the need to step out of your house and you feel the need to protest our current government, protest our current government. We are a government. We are a country made for the people by the people. And that is something our government has forgotten. I urge everyone I know, often register to vote. Know your candidates, know the measures, understand your politics, vote. You want to see change? Change it. Do it legally. Do it peacefully. Do it from inside the system. You think that you can do better? Run for city council. Um, get on the community re committee review boards. We have them where I live. And they have power here. If people want to have power. If, if you want to take that power into your own hands and actually enact change, you can do that. There are review boards in every city around me. And I know that some cities don't have them. I understand that. But you have the ability to change your government. We do. It's in our constitution. A lot of these messages a lot of the reform and the change that you're looking for are lost when all there is is violence. And I understand the American Revolution was a violent thing. The Civil War was a violent thing. We have had a history of continued violence in our country in order to enact change. The Civil Rights Movement, the Stillwall riots, the <sighs> murders of innocent LGBTQ youths because they dared to speak out and come out of the closet. I understand that's how change happens. I do. But when you step out the door and all you're thinking about is your anger in the status quo and your need to violently change it, you're not changing anything. You're just proving their points. So the point there is, um, be safe, be happy, and be sure you know what you're doing, what you're fighting for and how you're fight, how your actions are going to affect those around you and yourself and spread the message, boost the signal because you can't stop the signal and we live in a digital world and the digital platforms are so powerful. Use them to your advantage. Thank you.